I started off by putting on an old t-shirt because it's going to be hair everywhere. Um, and I stationed my hair into five parts. Two in the back, one in the middle, center, and two in the front. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already detangled my hair with a wide tube comb. See? And I also use uh, my red tail comb just to ensure the... Um, when I'm trimming that the uh, section of hair that I have is extremely smooth and also I might throw my soft bristle brush in there as well so once my hair is detangled and I only do this method on bone straight hair so I can actually see um, what I'm trimming see if there's any single strand not see if there's any split ends and it's straight so it's really easy it practically just jumps out at me I start by taking an section of my hair clipping the remainder of the section up okay now that I have a small section of my hair I'm going to take a red tail comb and smooth also my bristle brush now um, I do this technique with my hands in which I take my hair and I tuck it under one of my fingers so that it looks like this you can do it with any finger that you wish to do it but this is the pattern this is the method that I use taking this um, while I'm trimming I'm going to be sliding my hair my hand down the length of my hair like that now if you notice if you lock your hair into your hand like this your hair is not all one length so I get these short strands that pop out this is this what I'm going to be trimming because those are the strands that cannot be reached by trimming of course the very ends of your hair those are the ends I call it the inside job that you just can't see these are shears that I got from Target a while back. I don't use them a lot. They're not dull or anything. So, yeah. This is what I'm going to be using. You can get them anywhere. Target, Walmart, Sally's. Anywhere. So, I'm going to take my hair. My hand. And I'm going to be... I'm going to take my hair. I'm going to be sliding it down. My hand. Y'all get it. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, anything that pops out... I'm going to be trimming it off. I don't know how you can get a good look. It's going to be little short pieces. Sometimes you can actually see the split. And it's like so gross. But you know you're getting that split in. Or if you don't see a split in, it's, it's um, also good to just trim those little hairs that pop out. Because of course you don't reach those often. I repeat this down the hair strand twice. Um, I try to position it different the second time so that if any strand that hasn't popped out, it'll surface. You want to be very careful because if you are not, you might end up cutting the, the length of your hair off. It's nice to do this over the sink too. Let me hear everywhere. Little strands, little strands of hair. So once I've done that, um, I'll take my hair and I twist it just like this, all the way down to the very ends of my hair. <laughs> Long. <laughs> Can't even get it all on camera. So once my hair is twisted, I take my shears, and of course, you're still gonna get those short strands that pop out of the strand. Um, and I'm just taking my shears and snip off the anything, uh, just a little bit of the hairs that's poking out. You'll know exactly what I mean. Let me see if I can get a close up for y'all. Once I've gone and I've snipped the ends of that, I'll take my red tail comb, smooth my hair once again. 
and I, on the very very ends of my hair I do a very very small trim so small you can't even tell you trimmed it off the very ends just to renew the very ends of your hair and I do find this it to be easier for me to do on a uh, bone straight hair um because I feel like I can see everything my hair is bone straight I can see everything I need to see but I'm, I'm pretty sure with the twist method twisting your hair I'm pretty sure that'll work on air dry hair um it's as well but I don't know I just always do it on um, straight hair so that's basically what I do to maintain my ends in between trims I trim my hair once every 12 weeks which is once every relaxer and for the first year plus of my hair journey I did this method uh, once a month on straight hair when I use my heat pads uh, which is indirect heat um, and it really helped me to keep my ends healthy so that when, when it was time to trim I didn't have to trim so much off so it's a good way to help you retain length um, if your hair is not long enough to do this, um, I hope that it gave you some kind of idea that once you achieve a certain length, uh, if you would like to self-manage your hair, um, that could work for you. So, as always, thank you ladies so much for watching. Have a blessed day.